And Kenosha police say an eight year old girl who also struggled in the water last night, she survived. Police say both children were in the same group while at the lake. Fox 6's Gabrielle Mays joins us live from Lake Michigan in Kenosha. And Gabby, police say someone with a drone actually helped them find the boy, right? Yeah, that's right. So someone with a drone asked police officers if they needed help. The officer said yes, of course they obliged. And then that drone was in the air for about 15 minutes. It spotted the boy and that was how they were able to find him and pull him out of the water. Waves pushed their way to shore one day after a boy died in this lake. Oh, that's that's awful. Awful. Brad Huffman and his family are visiting the lake from Illinois. He says this is the kind of story that makes him think about the whole family. Be terrifying. Yeah. Absolutely. Kenosha police say just before six Tuesday night, they got a call about an eight year old girl struggling in the water. That child was successfully recovered from the water and taken to a hospital. Police say she's okay. 15 minutes later, police say a five-year-old boy in the same group as the girl disappeared. We discovered, uh, with the help of a citizen drone operator, uh, the child about 50 feet out from shore. Inside a Kenosha classroom. So when you go to the beach, when you go to the pool, stay with mom and dad. A member of the Great Lakes Surf Rescue Project teaches kids water safety. Drowning is the leading cause of accidental death in children one to four. It's the second leading cause of accidental death in kids under 15. The Great Lakes Surf Rescue Project keeps track of drownings in the Great Lakes. So it's very dangerous water here. Pratt's numbers show out of all of the Great Lakes, Lake Michigan consistently takes the most lives. The organization says that's because of strong currents and high populations living along the lake shore. He teaches children and adults a drowning prevention strategy called flip, float, and follow. Flip over onto your back, which allows you to breathe whenever you want to. Float to calm yourself down. Float to conserve your energy. And then follow a safe path back to uh, the, the shoreline. The police have not released the name of that five year old boy, only saying that the investigation is still open. Reporting live in Kenosha, Gabrielle Mays, Fox 16. Good tips there. All right, Gabrielle, thank you.